The penultimate round of the Super 1 British Karting Championships takes place this weekend at Shennington near to Edge Hill, the site of the first battle of the English Civil War. A new breed of roundheads, hopefully without a cavalier approach to racing, will be hoping to ride a 2017 version of horsepower to victory today. The penultimate round may see championships in some classes secured, with others going to the final round at PF International in a few weeks' time. Let battle commence. Let's jump straight into the action here at Shennington. Jake Sanson and Alan Tadigai with you here at the Shennington Kart Racing Club with TKM Extreme up first. Harry Moore and Stephen Letts on the front row. Alex Reese and Joe Stockford on the second. Adam Sparrow, Matthew Taylor, Peter Newman, Simon Verko, Louis Bevan and Lewis Wadley as away we go. That's your top ten and away we go straight through to Park Bend and up towards Cafe. Is it all going to be okay for the first corner? Let's have a look. Everybody through neat and tidy. Yes, just about. And as they come out of Pitts Bend, we go down towards Stratford Hairpin once again with our reigning champion Harry Moore leading the way in the early stages. They go through the hairpin, everybody keeping it clean as we go down towards the runway straight and up towards Bruno Ferrari's chicane. All very nice and tidy. It looked like they were a little bit spread out at the start there, a little bit scruffy, but uh, at least they all got through the first few turns. And here we are, the 2016 champion leads it, the man that wants to be champion this year in second place. He came into this round second place in the championship, but the way things have panned out with Simon Burko, the championship leader coming into the round on the 11 car, you just see him on the back of that group there in around ninth or 10th place. It looks like, uh, as Stephen Letts takes the lead, it looks like Stephen Letts has bagged himself the lead again, and uh, that is going to be vital going to the, the uh, final round at PF well, International in a couple of weeks' time. Well, Alex Reese was there in third position in front of Joe Stofford. I think that's uh, Adam Sparrow and Matthew Taylor getting into the battle for fifth position further back. As everybody trying to work their way through out of position, the number two, Kyle Sproat, trying to work his way through the field. It's been a really tricky position for him to be in as he started all the way down on the 15th row of the grid, 30th position on the grid. So watch him as he works his way through. But it is the 44, as we said, Stephen Letts, who actually leads the field at the moment. Here comes Alex Reese. Reese is trying to tuck in behind Harry Moore. Up towards Cafe again, the three of them work together, trying to get away from the 18 of Joe Stockford on the Talco racing machine. So they come out of Pitts Bend, down the run to Stratford, up the inside, it looks as though Moore's going to take the lead again. He does, and also throws Alex Reese. Is he going to be able to defend back on the exit, Stephen Letts? He's going to try and keep his foot in, he does. And look, Stock Stockford's going to get through as well as he into third, he does as well. So Joe Stockford moves up into third position then, what an absolutely brilliant bit of defending there from Stephen Letts, who now up to second, but Stockford's got through to third. Stockford immediately gives the push signal to the man behind him. Let's get after these two leaders. Joe Stockford, winner at uh, Glenigors Park, of course, and he will be looking to uh, double those wins this season by taking another one here, and we know he's got all the qualities to do so. Out of Cafe Corner, left-handed, on to Stratford straight up into the Stratford hairpin. That's Alex Reese picked out in fourth place there, the leading privateer on the 77 cart. Great pictures from the drone as well as we look up and over the circuit. Beautiful circuit this. It is the Monza of British karting, incredibly high speed as Adam Sparrow makes up another place there in the Bruno Ferrari chicane. That has got him up into sixth position, I do believe, as I look through the field. So Harry Moore in the lead of this one, the 44. Stephen Letts in there in second position. Third place, that is still Stockford in front of Alex Reese, the independent. And in fifth position on the back of the queue, that looks to me like the 78 of Peter Newman, who is there in P5, having got a very good start to this race, working his way through. They come out of Cafe, couple more drivers further back, starting to make moves through the field in this incredibly competitive TKM Extreme Grid. Just saw Sam Fowler there on the seven car going through Cafe Corner, well down the field. Reese and Newman both managed to pick off Joe Stockford there, so they're up into third and fourth position now, those two. Fowler a winner in this championship this season and he's had a pretty good 
few months as well, Sam Fowler, but he's struggling a bit today. Yeah, started all the way down in 32nd on the grid, two, two spots behind Carl Spro, who was also having a bit of a howl over a race meeting coming into this one. So we'll keep an eye on both of those to see if they work their way through to the top 10. They've got a lot of work to do to get there, but those are the two kind of drivers who are likely to make that happen. So as they work their way through Cafe Bend, there is the nine in there. That's Owen Rosser having worked himself up into, let me do the math, that is ninth position. So Owen Rosser is leading the cavalry, charging after the top eight and doing an absolutely cracking job to do so. Lee Whittingham on the 50 car. He's on the move. Started down in uh, 25th place. Yeah, he's Joe, making good progress, I have to say. Joe Reeve Smith is on the move and Fowler's on the move as well. He started, uh, I think it was 32nd place actually, Jake. Here goes Lance. He's going to try and make a move. What an amazing bit of defence though from Harry Moore who cuts straight across on the exit of Hangar. You are not getting through there, matey boy. Lewis Wadley trying to work his way up the order as well. He's top eight just, just getting away. Oh, Good there goes Lance. And that is Lance back into the lead. Bags of quality in this class all the way through the field and we're seeing it here swapping positions all the way down well adam sparrow has worked his way forward as well he's having a p5 trying to uh, knock on the door of the podium here sparrow a very talented racing driver as well and great to see him back on the top look at how much time he's made up in the braking zone for the bruno ferrari's chicane alone he's right with them now so he's on the back of newman who in turn is on the back of reese and now we've got let's versus more battling for the lead as they go into wilkins once again through that tight right hand hairpin then back on the power through the left flick and over the start finish line we've still got a good eight or nine drivers who could win this race it's still incredibly tight harry moore right on the tail of stephen letts with the cavalry in pursuit stephen letts had a bit of a nightmare at glanny gorse park to be fair made a couple of mistakes i know his team manager dave litchfield wasn't overly impressed with uh, his performance that day but uh, dave will be right behind stephen would have geared him up coming into this one saying come on son let's get back into the position in the championship that we deserve to be which is out front and that's exactly where he is at the moment the race leader is the new championship leader and the man he has deposed simon verko is really struggling on the 11. i think he's further back than he was earlier yes yeah, simon verko having an absolute disaster at the moment started in uh, eighth position and he's actually dropping back through the field yes there look is. just being overtaken again by the man in a red suit so Verco having all sorts of difficulties, unfortunately, and at this rate, he's in danger of slipping out of the top 20 even. Here goes Moore to the inside of the hairpin. Thank you very much. How many more will get through? Looks like Reese is going to get there. And with a little bit of help from Newman, he might get through into third position as well. Letts is going to try and do as little damage as possible. Third position, Sparrows through to fourth. So Newman backwards down to fifth, make that sixth. He's uh, got a little bit of a nudge there as they come through. So Newman is now down into P6, but Alex Reese has got himself up into second position. Alex Reese smells victory. He's never had a Super 1 win before, Alex Reese. And he's smelling it, he's feeling it. Big time here as they come through Cafe Corner on the 77 cart there in second place. He's looking to go one better and stay there. Well, he's quite close to the back of Moore as they come down to the hairpin. Lentz is going to throw it up the inside, gets the place back. So Reese drops back into third position in front of Sparrow. Gestures to Adam Sparrow behind him. Come on, we can get him, we can get him. As they come down to the Bruno Ferrari chicane again. Left, back on the power, right. Don't hug the kerb on the outside, you're going to lose ground. Moore keeps, uh, has a little check over his shoulder. You don't want to be doing that too much, just to know if Letts is going to be close enough to throw it up the inside into Wilkins. He does not, he's not close enough. That's Lewis Wadley there in seventh position on the 98, just in front of, is that the 18? That is Stockford. That's how difficult his race has been since. Letts now goes for the lead again, and it looks as though Sparrow's going to lose a place. So Stockford, the early leader. What's he down there? Back in eighth place, Jake? That makes it eighth to me. Yes, Letts is through, and it looks like Moore's going to go through as well. Moore back in the second position. Alex Reese down to third. Fourth position, the 78 now. Very impressive battling so far as the 78 pushes Peter Newman, trying to get himself back into a podium paying position. In there behind Alex Reese. Fifth position, who's that that's joined the party? That looks like Matthew Taylor on the four plate, who's now up into P5. So great progress from Taylor, who uh, started down Newman. in sixth position. Here we go again, that's Newman trying to come through. Had 
had a look up the inside, couldn't get it done, and that slowed his momentum, and the four car up the inside, they're side by side. Oh, Taylor really started to get his foot in there, but he's not going to be able to get the place, and he may even drop to sixth position as a result of that. Sparrow trying to come through. Meanwhile, these two have broken clear out front. Now Moore's going to make the push to get past Stephen Letts into Stratford Hairpin. He makes that work, beautiful. So now Moore leads it, second Letts. Third is Alex Reese in front of Peter Newman, Matthew Taylor, and Adam Sparrow. This class, the TKM classes, I should say, the senior TKM extreme class we've got here and the junior class, it just always delivers action and close racing through the field. There goes Taylor. And there's Taylor, makes up another spot, and it looks like Newman down too. Yeah, that's Wadley oh, who's got contact. through. Wadley's got through, Sparrow has been held up. Yeah, Sparrow just clipped the back of Newman. Well, there goes Let's. Let's through to first place again. I'm not sure Moore thought he was going to be there. They're going to continue being side by side. He didn't leave him any space at all. Now he shuts the door. Here comes Alex Reese to the right side. Can he make it go all the way around the outside of the hairpin? There's going to be a little bit of rubbing between those two as the wheels back together, and Reese is in a second. Great move by Alex Reese around the outside. Just kept his foot in, stayed with it, and uh, gets his reward through to second. Great driving. Well, now Moore's defending. Look, he moves to the middle of the circuit to try and cover Reese. He knows that this is going to be a bit of a difficult one to defend because he's got several drivers in there trying to come through. There's now a line of eight. This is an absolutely incredible race again from TKM Extreme. Jake. We could be looking at one of the greatest kart races ever here. This is amazing stuff. Look at the line of carts joining the party as well now from Owen Rosser in ninth position down another nine, eight carts. Absolutely incredible. And there's another queue trying to join in the fun. Here comes Letts down the inside. Contact. Letts and Reese. Reese has accidentally been hit there. I don't think he has, Jake. I don't think. Did we'll he spin a... on his own? I think he did. We'll have a look at the slow motion. Let's have a look at the replay. I think he's out, I think he's tried to stop himself running into the back of Harry Moore. See, just oh look, yeah, he lost I, it on his I, own. I think he's tried to stop himself, oh. just clipping the back of Harry Moore, and he's ended up locking his brakes up and spinning himself out. He's absolutely gutted. Into the last lap, and there's no Alex Reese to join the party. That is devastating. Making the mistake on his own, trying not to hit Harry Moore's cart and he's thrown himself out of contention, and there's still a huge host of drivers to go for it. Moore leading, let's second. That's up to third position, Matthew Taylor. Peter Newman in there in fourth place. Adam Sparrow, Joe Stockford, and Lewis Wadley all in there trying to make progress into the Bruno Ferrari chicane. Newman squabbling all over the back of Taylor, trying to come through. There's not going to be a lot of space. Look at uh, Harry Moore trying to defend. Stephen Letts moves the cover. Matthew Taylor in there in third position. Newman trying to go right round the outside. That's brave. There's not going to be a lot of room to stick it out. Here comes Adam Sparrow through the inside, contact, and it's going to be Harry Moore to the victory. Three wide, four wide, further back. Absolutely amazing as they cross the line. But that was incredibly close. Wadley came through for fourth, Jake, That's there. That's absolutely the final astonishing. Let's look at it. It is Harry Moore who takes the win from Stephen Letts, Matthew Taylor in third, from Lewis Wadley, Joe Stockford, Sparrow, Bevan, Rosser, Goldsmith, and Lee Whittingham. Harry, great to see you on the top step of the podium. You're finding the second year after you've won the championship, trying to win it again, a little bit more difficult than last year, but great day today. Yeah, it's been a good day. Um, I wouldn't say, well, this year I've just had a bit of bad luck, um, you know, but it's, uh, I'm happy to be back on to the top stuff there. Um, hopefully I can finish off the season the same as today, so. Uh, who do you want to thank? Uh, I just want to say a big thanks to you, Jade Carts, and obviously my dad. Uh, yes, I, w I wouldn't be able to do it without them, so thank you. 21 points is the gap at the top of the table between Stephen Letts and Simon Verko. Adam Sparrow in third position from Sam Fowler and the reigning champion Harry Moore still in there in the fight for third. Coming up after the break in part two, it's Junior TKM and an interview with the new British Open champion Abby Pulling after a momentous weekend at the TKM Festival.